Hello and welcome to Enfilize Information Booth. Right, now you can see, I'm not in front of the camera, I'm showing you something. Right, so, my plug broke, but something I haven't shown before is this. Now this, I leave on my plug, so it catches all the wife's long hair. And I have to empty this either once a week or every two weeks to, for the amount of long hair that goes down the plug hole. It is tons. Now, if you notice on here, my plug's broken. So, I'll show you what I do. All you do is, should have a Phillips screwdriver right now. Just a minute, let me go get one. Yep, Phillips screwdriver. And you'll see here, there's a Phillips screw on the side here. Now if it can catch it, if it doesn't catch it with a Phillips, because it's an awkward kind of hair, we'll use a smaller flat headed, which I have plenty of. Ow. There you go. We've got that undone and loosened. So all you do, take this, and it pops that out. You take the screw out here. And for example here, We'll put this one back together because we don't need this screw. God, it's even got hair attached to that. There you go, that's how you tighten that back up. Right, so when I received this originally, it said you can put this and screw it on the base here. Which I find really good, but I found that it didn't bite it on well enough at the base and left this, too pr this one, it's attached onto here, proud. So that's that on there, nice and tight. So it made it really high when you put it in. So we'll go see that, we'll go test if this isn't. So if you do have the same issue with me, all you have to do is undo that screw there, take it off. So unscrew that and then post it in from the top, and leave it loose and it still does the same, still does the same job. So let's go see if this works for how flush I want it to be but trust me it works and I'll probably put a YouTube short of it when it's got a load of hair in but it's not a nice look when you get all the hair out it's like Ugh. so <laughs> um, so let's go test this now right now I'll probably get an echo because we're in the bathroom so let's see how this works I might be too proud for mine yeah that's really hot it probably does work but I find that too high so what we'll do is we'll adjust it again right so we're back again let's take this out let's do it the way I, I like So it's got enough depth, enough depth on it. Let's just turn it aside. We'll rest that in the plug hole because we don't want to drop the screw down the plug hole. So, so here we go. Take the screw out. Keep tension on it, ideally, because then the uh, mechanism doesn't go ping ping away so 
So there you go. That's that there. Now I've clicked that down already. So it holds the mechanism in. Let's get this attached back on. This can sometimes be a bit fiddly. Like I said. But it's the way I found is easiest to match up and be universal to most either sinks or or basin plugs. Let's tighten that up now. So now, put the head back on. Turn you to the side. So let's extend that. Let's open it up. So you can see it's loose, but it does exactly the same job. The only thing you might get a bit of noise sometimes is the water goes down. You might get a ting, 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 ting as the water goes down. But, oh my God, is it better than hairs. So there you go. That looks like it's sitting identical height to what it was previously. But let's have a look. So I'm just gonna extend up my tripod so it doesn't get wet at the base. So that is actually working. Yeah, no water going down. So that's job done. So that's easy. That's how easy it is. So that's how to either fit it, either the proper way on the base of the screw or fit it on the shaft. Works both the same way. So thank you for watching and goodbye.